this period, business premises like this one here will be booming and cashing in on business brought about by the clients and holiday makers. The whole hospitality industry will be on its peak period. Majority of citizens are feeling the pinch by what has been like for them to survive under these circumstances. But what has it been like for business owners, waitress, bar hostess and everyone making a living from those businesses that have since been closed? Starting I think March last year when the president made an announcement that um, COVID had reached a certain level and he was shutting down the country. Right there and then over 200,000 bar hostesses lost their jobs. Mwezi wa tatu, ndiyo corona iliingia mwisho, hiyo mwisho ndiyo ikaingia. After kuingia hiyo corona, tukasimamishwa kazi. Hatukulipo wa mshara yetu. Vila tulienda kukrimu mshara yetu, tukambua tukrimu kwa manager. Already manager, alikuwa mesha enda. Over 10,000, tukanyanganywa. Sa hii wanaka nyumbani, hata wakati wali tulifugio hiyo wakati, nilitabuta hata ya kuwapatia wa ede nyumbani. Juzi na ya kufanya nao, wako tupia na shida hata wananiridia hata nikiwa hapa. Na sina ya kuwa saidia. Juu saidisi yote nilikuwa natoa hapa. Na kwa siku nikuwa napata kama wa watidia wakati? 500, kiwa ndogo sana 200. Atulikuwa tunakipu tu distance, juu krabu ni kumbwa. Lazima watu wanashikwa, tusha ashikwa si mara ya kwanza. Kanuni nazo tunazikiuka mara mingi sana. Kwa sababu ndiyo mana nilikuwa nasema ba uo mteja kikuja kwa ba, hauta kwa uta heza kumuambia tiva mask. Ndiyo mana nakombia hata kubali kuva mask. Today I have met this wonderful lady and I wanted her to just introduce herself and what she does. Okay, my name is Penina Mwangi. I'm the executive director of Bar Hostess Empowerment and Support Program. This is an organization that works with bar hostesses all over the country and vulnerable women. We work in the area of health, mostly on HIV prevention and other health issues, but also on the issue of human rights, uh, advocacy, access to justice, and ensuring that the rights of the women who work in bars are respected. Why bar hostesses? Long story, mm -hmm. I, I have a history in the bar, been brought up by a single mother working in the bar. And so I, after I finished college, I began to socialize with the women working in the bars and I saw that a gap existed, that they could tell me horror stories of what they've gone through and we came together, all of us as young women working in the bars, and formed an organization to fight for our rights. Uh -huh. So, <laughs> just tell me, tell me a little bit on resilience yeah? during this time of COVID and how the bar hostesses have been affected, and also a little bit of um, how your organization has been affected because your, your beneficiaries are bar hostesses. Yeah, bar hostesses. Yeah? Mm. Okay, great. So, um, starting I think March last year, when the president made an announcement that um, COVID had reached a certain level and he was shutting down the country. Right there and then, over 200,000 bar hostesses lost their jobs. They were, left, they were left destitute almost. But it's been an amazing over one year, one year exactly, of resilience by the women working in the bars. They were already struggling to pay their rent, to educate their children, to, to just survive. So with the shutting down of bars, they didn't even think they would survive. They didn't know what they would do the next week, the next month, the next two months. It's been a horror story one after another, but it's also been a story of hope because the They've succeeded. They are still paying rent. They do their charmers. That's their merry-go-round where they come together and each person giving 100 shillings, 200 shillings, give one person. Then the next month, give another person. They, they, that way they pay their rent. That way they, they do shopping for, this, for themselves. Mm -hmm. Then they also uh, begin with the landlady, with the landlord, and they're able to push the rent a little bit further. But it's been one long story and the thing is we don't even know the end um, we don't know 
where it's going to. But the girls have said that, oh, madam, you know what? We have lived in such situations. Uh, we have we have struggled in our lives, even if we didn't have COVID, we have struggled with other ways. I lost my husband, I was left with five children, but I survived, I have been able to educate them. One is at the university. So I survived that. Hopefully I will survive this. We have survived so far one year, but we are asking what is next. Uh, mm -hmm. and, and what are those things that they do to make sure that um, they are surviving during these hard times? And do they even have hope? on the bars anymore. The thing, it's, very, it's a very sad story because the thing is some of the bars will never open again. Uh -huh. Some of the bars uh, were being run by small business people mm -hmm. who had maybe even taken a loan and rented up a, a bar, paid goodwill, taken a loan to buy the stock. Yeah. So no way they are holding on for a year until uh, things come to normal so that they can open the bar again. So the girls know that job is as good as gone. But there is no alternative. Mm -hmm. So they're looking at it, where do we move from here? Wow. Uh, a lot of the bars will never open again, never. Wow. So we, they don't know which way to move. Some have tried to relocate to the rural areas, but they're saying even in the rural areas, it's, life is also expensive. Oh, yeah, yeah. There's no food being found in the farms as yeah. they used to. Uh, the houses where they were living have been maybe demolished. They still have to start, they still even have to rent even if wow. they go to the rural areas. So life looks like uh, it's tough on all areas but some of them are saying we will survive we will relocate we will share houses we will share homes with relatives wow. we'll see what happens uh, but it's urgent wow but that is so brave of them yeah they, yeah they're really tough mm. they're really tough i don't know what i would do myself and we don't know what you're doing, what you do, <laughs> or is there something you're doing currently to help the bar hostesses, or what's your plan? Bar hostess has stood up to support uh, the bar to support all the bar hostesses who are struggling, the, the ones in our program. So we have been able to fundraise and uh, distribute food. We have been able to link them up with organizations that are supporting women. Mm -hmm. But we are also uh, like delivering. We have an app an app that's delivering medication, that's delivering food, because our funding is based on HIV and uh, health in the health area. So many of the girls even who are HIV positive who cannot be able to access our clinics because bus fare is a big deal, uh, the, the, the social distancing even in public transport is a big deal, so, the, so they may not afford to come to the clinics. We, we were able to purchase a motorbike, we're delivering the medication for those who are HIV positive, and sometimes when we get food, we're also delivering that to them. I'm so happy about what you're doing in Bar Hostess. Yeah. I know that it's been tough for you as a director and also for the girls out there. Mm -hmm. And uh, seemingly, nothing can be said that has happened which is good during covid mm -hmm. but is there anything you see mm -hmm. that is positive since covid started especially when it comes to programming there's been some positivity even from working from home mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, we've been able maybe to bond more, to, to bond more with our family members yeah. um, we've been able to shift our priorities and uh, be able to see what is important on the day to day maybe even eat well because we were just yeah. uh, snacking everywhere all over the place but also we have seen people really coming up and supporting and realizing the work an organization such as ours does and they have been very generous kenya red cross um Global Fund, they've been very generous in supporting us and realizing what women, what women organizations are doing to reach out. I can say that, I can say that is positive. Bringing also the girls together has also been very positive and now they are determining their lives, like they're starting their circle, they are seeing which way can we be saving, how can we be ready for such an event, should it happen again. And um, visiting each other and strengthening one another, such that uh, uh, 
an event that could have been more horrific, maybe we would have lost more people even from COVID itself, has been manageable. Mm, okay. Now that you, I know that uh, Baho says work closely with uh, some of the government entities like NASCO, PNA, blah, blah, blah. Have they been supportive? Or you can just say that government really left people, including uh, Baho says and other organizations. You know, I, I, yes. I sympathize with the government as much as we all have our eyes trained on the government because what else do we do? And uh, they, they're, they're the only people we see, they're the only institution that we see. I can say government in its own way is also trying. NASCOP has really worked hard to even find out how, how is everybody doing to ensure that the clinics remain open, to ensure that our business is carried out and women do not suffer as much as they would have if, if everything was just shut and nobody took care of anything at all. So there's been some relief from government. Uh, I've also seen politicians uh, like Esther Pasaris uh, come to us, uh, try to find out what can she do. Uh, she's trying to really strengthen our circles as women working in the bars. So there's some good coming out of it, but of course we, we are all seeing an opportunity that more can be done. We are looking at this big government that they can be able to do so much more. Oh, yeah. Mm. Well, that's the good and the ugly, so we are so, so happy mm. to have Penina in this talk. Mwezi wa tatu, ndiyo corona iliingia, mwisho, iyo mwisho, ndiyo ikaingia. After kuingia iyo corona, tukasimamishwa kazi. Atu kulipo wa mshara yetu. Vila tulienda kukremu mshara yetu, tukambua tukremu kwa manager. Already manager, alikuwa mesha enda. Over 10,000. Sa iwa na kanyubani, ata wakati wali tulifugio iyo wakati, nilitabuta ata ya kuwapatia wa ede nyubani, juu sina ya kufanya nao. Wako tupia na shida ata wananiridia ata nikiwa hapa, na sina ya kuwasaidia, juu saidisi yote nilikuwa natoa hapa. Na kwa siku ulikuwa napata kama watidia wakati? 500, kia ndogo sana 200. Mm-hmm. Mi majinangu naitwa Beatrice Njeri mm -hmm. na since 2004 nimekuwa nikifanya kazi ya pub mm -hmm. na ya club. Mm -hmm. Ida napata club napata either pub ama club kubwa. Mm -hmm. Nimekuwa counter nafanya service. Mm -hmm. Ya. Yeah. Na nimerea watoto wangu wawiri since wakiwa wadogo sayi wa megro. Mhm, mm wakumeka ngapi hapo? Sayi wakona 23, mboja wakona 23, mbo mgini wakona 20 years. Uh -huh. yeah. Na kumekuwaje <coughs> kwa ba industry kama ba stay, sama kwa kashia, kumekuwaje so mataimu kikuwa jomu? Eh, maisha imekuwa ngumu, hata mm. kama ukiwa kazi hivi, unakuwa na some challenge ju neza andikwa kazi na mtu na maybe upate kazi na meandikwa na mwanaume ukikata kwa rafiki na yeye amekufuta kazi the following day unapata umefutwa kazi inakuwa tena ni challenge ukiandikwa na tuseme na na na, na mtu wa kwetu tuseme ni supervisor dem aone pengine customer fulani anakupenda anakufuta kazi imekuwa ni challenge ju okay tuseme kwa, kwa nini ma, mara kwa customer umemuuzia umekaa umemkataa anataka ku rafiki na wewe umemkataa ndio huyo anapeana maneno yako mbaya kwa mdosi wako ndio huyo unafutwa kazi na kwanga ni challenge but nimekaa 2004 since 2004 nimeji nimejikaza kabisa up to now but when you come to kabisa kabisa ni wakati wa COVID. Nini me happen? Ambo when happen? COVID me treated shida sana, sana, sana. 
ju mwezi wa pili februari niliingia kazi ju nilikuwa na nilikuwa nimesimamishwa pahali kazi nikapata ingine mwezi wa pili kuingia mwezi wa pili februari tukakaa hiyo februari yote mwezi wa tatu ndio corona iliingia mwisho hiyo mwisho nikaingia afta kuingia hiyo corona tukasimamishwa kazi hatu kulipwa mshahara yetu vile tulienda ku claim mshahara yetu tukaambiwa tu claim kwa manager already manager alikuwa ameshaenda over 10000 tukanyanganywa so tulirudi kwa nyumba hauna pesa na uyuko kazi ikahafu tunafanya mtu anafanya kazi ya biashara okay si biashara unafanya kazi ya vibarua mostly mimi kama siko hiyo job ya pub mimi ufanya kibarua na pewanga kazi ya nguo mimi ufua nguo na vile nilifanya fanya sasa hiyo mwezi wa tatu, mwezi wa ine, mwezi wa tano watu wakaambiwa wa keep distance na wafungue job tukarudi tena after kurudi tena mwenyewe akasema atakuwa kitulipa kila siku kila siku ndio ataki kuwekea mtu mshahara ndio manager alitunyang'anya pe pesa tukakuwa tukilipwa kila siku hiyo pesa haiku inatosha lakini ungekaa nyumbani juu utakaa nyumbani watoto watakula nini mm. tulikuwa tunaenda jioni unalipa motorbike hiyo pesa ndio ya kukura Una, unakura hapo hiyo pesa unalipa motorbike na asubuhi ndio fare so haiku inatosha but utakaa nyumbani venyetu ikakaa tena uhuru akasimama uh, president akasimamisha tena juu ya corona tarehe 27 tena tukarudi nyumbani kurudi nyumbani tukakaa miezi mbili tena tukafunguliwa kurudi tukaambiwa tume tumesimamishwa juu kazi imeisha hakuna kazi customer hakuna kabidi tusimame after sasa kurudi nyumbani tumekuwa na nimekuwa kwangu mimi nimekuwa nikipitia mangumu juu already nime struggle since 2004 Nimengengana peke yangu kulea watoto. Nimengengana bila bila yani mtu yote mwenye atanisaidia, either ni wa nyumbani, either ni rafiki yangu, ni mkono yangu tu. Nimewasomesha secondary na shida sana, sana sana wakifukuzwa. Especially um dogo amekuwa akikaa nyumbani miezi mbili ama anakaa mwezi mmoja nyumbani na tafuta pesa anarudi shule ilikuwa inafika to honest and hata nikiwa kazi inabidi mpaka nakopa marafiki zangu pesa na saa zingine mpaka unakopa pesa ya interest sasa inafika pahali unaona hiyo pesa ya interest unalipa pesa mingi sana ya interest unabaki bila pesa na lazima utalipa juu pesa si yako nikukopesha umekopeshwa na masharti na lazima uzitumi uzitumie sasa hapo ndio mambo ilianza kwenda sasa vibaya juu inafika pahari ya una mshahara juu na pesa zote unapeleka kwa madeni ndio huyo headmaster anakupigia simu ndio hiyo radio anataka pesa inafika pahari mpaka unafungiwa nyumba in fact hata nikikuja kwa hii prot nikikuja nilipewa notice kwa prot nyingine nilikuwa nakaa na juu nilikuwa nimeshindwa kulipa nyumba mtoto akiwa form 4 hapo hapo kukaka mama yangu akagonjeka ilikuwa nafika pahari mpaka nakosa fea mpaka ya kwenda kumwangalia Jusiku that time siku wa kazi na nilikuwa nakosa mpaka fea kwenda kumwangalia alikuwa amelala katundu dakika ya mwisho akapass pole pole sala uh-huh. after that kijana akamaliza form 4 ndio alimaliza form 4 nikaona tu hata kama anafanya kibarua nakuwa nikipeleka pesa kidogo kidogo asomea driving uh-huh. kakuwa nikipeleka kidogo kidogo akasomea driving kamariza sasa hakuna kijana hata mmoja ako kazi wote wako hapa mimi siko kazi watoto hawako kazi tuko tu hivyo na na tukiingia nyumba ilikuwa na, na another arrangement kulikuwa yeah. na mattress chini mm-hmm. kumaanisha bado unakana watoto wako wawili wakubwa hapa kwa hii nyumba na ni single room how do you ni una, unaishi aje umekuwa ukisurvive aje kwa single room na vijana wawili wakubwa Nime, ni nimekuwa nikikaa nao since 2004 nimekuwa nikikaa nao kwa hii nyumba moja hivi juu ni, ni singeweza kukaa kwa nyumba kubwa kulingana na ile mapato nilikuwa napata na nilikuwa nilikuwa nawasomesha walikuwa wanatumia pesa mingi sana kusoma juu wote wamesomea mmoja amesomea boarding 
mwingine amesomea day juni nilishindwa kumsomesha boarding singeweza wote wawili na nyumba ilikuwa ya kukomboa sasa vile nimewasomesha kutoka hiyo wakati since this time sijaweza hata kidogo kuwa nikikuwa nikikaa nyumba kubwa mm. eh na ni changamoto ni nini umekuwa ukiona wakipitia ambazo ulikuwa una, unasikia unahisi kama zinakuzunisha kwa sababu umeshindwa ama we situation ya country imefanya usiweze kuwapatia labda maisha bora ama kuwafanya waishi ile maisha wangetamani umeona wao wakipitia nini na wewe umekuwa ukifikiria nini mimi kwangu nimesema naweza sema watoto wangu wamekuwa wakipitia magumu sana juu kuna wakati huwa wanaona nikikuja ama ile wakati mpaka hiyo nikiwa kazi kuna wakati maisha ilikuwa inanizidi kabisa mpaka na, nakosa pesa ya chakula inafika pahari niko na madeni ndio huyo mwalimu amenipigia simu kiateka ndio huyo amezima stima ndio anataka kutufungia nyumba naingia kwa nyumba naanza kulia watoto walikuwa wanapitia magumu juu walikuwa wanatoka nje wanasema hatuwezi ona mamu hatuwezi angalia hatuwezi gojea kuona ukiria tukiwa hapa sasa walikuwa wanatoka nje wanaenda kukaa nje na ilikuwa ni wakati mgumu juu wataki kwenda kwa marafiki zao juu wataki wataki au marafiki wakuje kwetu waone Kenya tunapitia mama yake mama yao analia ila shida tunapitia kwa nyumba sasa kitu kama hiyo yani kwa nini unafikiria ni nini inachangia sana vile na inaweza kuwa nimekaa nikafikiria inaweza kuwa sometimes huwa mambo za nyumbani za families ama culture sometimes huwa zinasumbua mtu juu nimekuja ku realize kuna kuna mbuzi yenye ilikuwa imeitishwa kwetu madhe alikuwa atoe lakini madhe hakutoa So ili have lazima niitoe. Na juu ya vile nilikuwa kwa shida mingi na nilikuwa napitia magumu, nikashindwa kutoa, nikashindwa na nikashindwa na nikashindwa. Up to now hiyo mbuzi ijatolewa na ni mbuzi lazima itolewe. Juu ni utamaduni lazima itolewe. So hiyo kitu nayo inanisumbua sana sana. Na sina uwezo na sina nguvu hata saa hii saa hii venye tunaongea hivi siko kazi. Sina pesa hata ya kulipa nyumba. Niko na two months yeye sijaripa nyumba hii mwezi na last month na sasa hii hapo ukiona katika baza naona uko na watoto wakubwa miaka 22 na, na, na wanaajiri wasichana wadogo ama pia wewe unanyima kazi kwa sababu ya umri eh juu last time kwenye nilikuwa nafanya kazi venye tulirudi mara ya pili ilibidi ilibidi sasa niulize kwa nini tumesimama kazi tumesimamishwa kazi hakuna kazi na walirudi wakaandika wa msiana mwingine kazi na akuwa eje yangu alikuwa eje mdogo wakasema ati customers wanakataa watu waandike watu waandike eje yetu kazi so wanataka wasiana wadogo kutoka 25 years to 26 24 sasa nayo hii inakuwa nayo ni challenge. Jo hata sasa siwezi enda kuuliza pahari kazi. Ju maybe utaambiwa kuja kesho, kuja kesho, kuja kesho. Na ni hili hali ya kukataa ni venye wataki kukuambia age yako inakataa. Sasa hii wanakaa nyumbani hata wakati wali tulifugiwa hiyo wakati nilitafuta hata ya kuwapatia waende nyumbani juzi na ya kufanya nao wako tu pia na shida hata wananililia hata nikiwa hapa na sina ya kuwasaidia juu saidi yote nilikuwa natoa hapa na kwa siku ulikuwa unapata kama wasija wangapi 500 eh kwa ndogo sana 200 Mm, atulikuwa tuna keep to distance juu club ni kubwa eh lazima mm -hmm. watu wanashikwa tushashikwa si mara ya kwanza kanuni nazo tunazikiuka mara mingi sana kwa sababu ndio maana nilikuwa nasema club ba huo mteja akikuja kwa ba hautakosa utaweza kumwambia tivaa mask ndio maana nakwambia hata kubali kuvaa mask kama mwenye ba hey. i progressive tulijaga 1972 tukafungua 1973 na sijaona 
si da ile tumezao na hii miaka miaka miwili sasa kubugiwa na tuko na wanyikasi tuko na mastoko ingine inakipaya si da usaidizi yote ninatoka hapa na dea watoto na iba sasa nikaona sida imeza tokea mingi e, kabla ya covid ya jakuja tunakuwaga na watu kama miabidi hata diyo tulikuwa tunaitaji kuwagazea lakini pesa ikaisha tukasimamisha hata hiyo mjego juu kama hii wakati ni kuna sida juu hata sina hata ya kukura sina hata ya kupatia wapanyikazi wa na niagaria sasa wako pia na sida malaisansi na nigojea usaidisi yote nilikuwa natoa kwa iba eh na wale wote ambao walikuwa wana, wana depend kuanzia waitress wako wale wanakuuzia pombe umefanya nao nini sasa hivi nyesioni yote sasa hivi wanakaa nyumbani eh. Hata wakati wali tulifugiwa hiyo wakati nilitafuta hata ya kuwapatia waende nyumbani juu sina ya kufanya nao wako tu pia na shida hata wananililia hata nikiwa hapa na sina ya kuwasaidia juu saidi yote nilikuwa natoa hapa kama serikali ya kutusikia ya satufugulia hata kama tunaweka tunaweka watu nini badi piti tuna tuna nini tunaweka bali bali na watu wana sanitizer mm. wanaweka mask mm. toa safurahia na kwa siku uko napata kama wateja wangapi 500 eh hiyo ndogo sana 200 na tulikuwa tuna keep to distance view crap ni kubwa eh lazima watu wanashikwa tushashikwa si mara ya kwanza kanuni nazo tunazikiuka mara mingi sana kwa sababu ndio maana nilikuwa nasema club huo mteja akikuja kwa ba hauta kwa utaweza kumwambia tivaa mask ndio maana nakwambia hata kubali kuvaa mask eh hii ni progressive ba eh iko kasarani sana tulifunga tulifunga ya covid ndio tutajambua na president jeshi tufunge tukafunga na shule kanzi hapo kipinja ndani hakuna hata mtu tuliamisha fiti kia wewe ya close to hivi kila siku uko hivi eh uko hivyo mchana jioni mchana jioni hakuna mtu anakuanga nesa sa soja na ako inta kabisa sasa ndio anakuanga huko ndio nesa kuja upate ndio tulifunga milango kutoka 26 tukafunga kabisa vita na kiti hata moja huko. Kwa kuna njaa hivi. Hapa hii space yote ilikuwa imenjaa. Ilikuwa ni watu. Eh. Sasa hii dance time kulikuwa kumenjaa hivi. Sasa sina na kuna hata mtu. Maua tu peke yake. Okay. Mhm. Eh. Tukaangalia ndani. Tuko na pool, tulifunganga pool. Kwa sababu kuna njaa watu, wanikazi. Kwa hivyo sisi kaumia mm. na vitu zimekuwa aje tangu covid ikue last year the same time kama saa hii president alikuwa amepatia na kafi na ma lockdown alafu akakuja kafungulia sasa hii tena amerejesha kafi na lockdown umekuwa aje safi last year bila kulifungwa kulikuwa kungumu bando mm. lakini atirisa hiyo ilikuwa mzuri tu alitupea kaupu kadogo tu akafungu akafungua kidogo safi dali fungua na atris watu wajuse hiyo masaa kidogo sasa hii ni kumbaya kabisa nchi walifunga kwa bridge hakuna hata ile masaa alikuwa ametuambia tuuze mpaka saa 2 hakuna hiyo masaa na kwa siku ulikuwa napata kama wateja wangapi 500 ehe kwa ndogo sana 200 na tulikuwa tuna keep to distance view club ni kubwa naona kila pia ni kubwa na naona stock zimelala hapo hata zingine sta expire tu ni mingi kwenda kwa store Tuko tumenua pombe hiyo Friday. Ndio ukafungwa. Tuko na pombe asubuhi ukafungwa. Sasa at least mbeta ange tupea tu kwa time kidogo hiyo weekend tuuze tufunge mandi. At least stock irundi. Eh. Akopatia time. Akutupea time. Hiyo siku atangaza hivyo askari ndio hao. Yuko kashindwa anafanyia kazi askari. Sipata tu funge. Na sasa wale ni watu wangapi mmeajiri hapa progressive? na watu tulikuwa watu 11 mm. 
na hao wote pia wako nyumbani na DJ Green na watatu kwa hivyo wao ni watu wangapi na kwa na watu wengi kuita 11 kuna watatu kuna DJ na kuna wa nje kuangalia usafi nje alikuwa tuko watu 21 so hao watu 21 wote hakuna moja yuko huko na mtu hata moja kwa hivyo wote wako hawana kazi hawana kazi wako nyumbani na wewe sasa kama manager una feel aje umekuwa affected aje unaona club imekuwa affected aje sasa mimi mwenyewe nalia mhm hata kitu kile kwanza inaniumanga ni kuwa mwenye club alikuwa amelipa presents hiyo wiki presents zote kuna presents yako amelipa alafu tukafungiwa ana hiyo presents zote zakuwa wait wait nini waste kama ya last time vile tuli ilipote ilipotelea tu hivyo na tukondishwa pesa mimi nyenye sasa omba tu tufunguliwa hata kama ni masaa kidogo hata kama tambuu zeni kutoka saa hii mpaka saa moja ama 5 tu tuko sawa utaweza ku keep on distance utaweza kuambia watu wanawe mikono to covid iko na sasa hii una unaishi aje like bado una bado mwajiri wako anakulipa ama wewe pia uko nyumbani unalia na ile tu kuomba tu eh wale customer walikuwa na jua napigia mtu na mwambia oh sina kitu ya kukula kutumia siku moja ndio siku inaenda kwa hivyo sasa hii pia wewe hauko kazi kama manager siko kazi hata kwa kufunguliwa ndio hata mwenyewe atatulipa na nini na afanye kazi na hii kazi ndio alikuwa anategemea tulipe niko na warembo wetu hapa na ningetaka kujua changamoto ile ambayo unapitia hasa wewe tukianza na wewe wakati msimu huu wa covid changamoto ninazopitia kama mimi mzaji wa mera ji kulingana na masa beleni tulikuwa nilikuwa nafungua kazi saa sita kazi inaweza enda mpaka ta saa 9 saa 10 Juapo kwa mira bado nauza pombe, kahawa, kwa nauza vitu mingi. Lakini saa hii nikifungua kazi nafungua by saa 8, by saa 1 nimefunga. Sasa hivi ni huko hakuko vizuri kuna changamoto moto mingi tumepitia. Aha. Sana sana labda masaa ya jioni kama ni saa 1:00 saa 2:00 saa sita saa kasi. Labda mzee ya customer umeenda umebuni mwingine huyu acha kulipa. Sambili ya masa moja na nishu kifika metuweka na hiyo kwesu. Ina bidu nengia kwa mfuko yaka, hindi kwa hiyo. Juni customer hata nifite na siku. Usha pata hizo scenarios labda mnakua wa clients, wanakua wanashikwa na polisi kwa sababu wa mekiuka zile kanuni zimekua na serekali za COVID-19. Eh lazima mm -hmm. watu wanashikwa tushashikwa si mara ya kwanza kanuni nazo tunazikiuka mara mingi sana kwa sababu ndio maana nilikuwa nasema ba huo mteja akikuja kwa ba hauta utaweza kumwambia tiva mask ndio maana nakwambia hata kubali kuvaa mask hizo mm -hmm. kanuni tunazikiuka kila wakati ndio maana unapata kila wakati tunashikwa unapata customer wameshikwa wamepelekwa na customer wakipelekwa mbele hawatoki na ile fine nafaa unapata mtu mwingine ameongezewa fine sasa zingine tunapatiwa kazi ya kufieka police station na pato nafika hapo nje ndi at least uweze kutoka how is your normal routine ukwa pale kazi yeah. eh kitambo tuko tunauza sana unaona unauza di masa kafi kukua tunauza hata kitu masa after paka midnight eh yeah. uko tu sawa kazi yeah. ilikuwa tu sawa kabisa hakuna kitu unaliza lakini kutoka kafi ikuje uko tu na wasiwasi juu hata hii mira yako itaisha yote is it the same story hiyo venye anatuambia matukio yake ya ya mira ndo hivyo hivyo ilivyo katika ba hostess kama saa hii tuko progressive na unaona venye kuko kuko very empty hakuna watu sasa hii hakuna kazi eh kila pale mtana ya tu ndio hakuna pesa kabisa lakini twezi kiba lazima tuingie huko tu chini kwa chini tutafute pesa na tafuta aje hiyo chini kwa chini ndo gani hizo tunatafuta aso kama mimi personally naenda ICD na kufudia watu na washatudia huko pia na pagie huko so hiyo kidogo napata na safe kidogo ingine tunakula hata hiyo kafi lakini kuna wale kuna wale customer wako favorite haizi kwa sababu kuja kunywa na kuachibi Mm -hmm. So kuna uwezi tuwaka bila kati Kuna kati tu kadogo tatoka nana 
hapo hiyo pesa kidogo tapenda kachama Mm -hmm. So mimi za sema chama ni msaidia sana. Mm -hmm. Licha na changamoto ya Covid pia ni za sema hii Covid pia ilikuja ndio. Kuna wakati nilikuwa ndaga kwangu hadi saa 8 usiku, pengine siendi, natoka kazi hata naweza lala kazi, niamkie kazi. Sina sina muda na watoto wangu. At least saa 4 naweza hata time ya kuongea. Ndio kuna mambo ni ngumu but kuna time naweza hata time ya kuongea nao. At least hata nakumbuka maybe next month shule inafunguliwa. Mimi si kukwacha na na hiyo time hata ya kuangalia kitabu ya mtoto aliperforma aje. Mimi nilikuwa tu niko kazi, nikitoka, nimeingia hivyo, niko tu busy kila saa. But sasa ile kitu naweza sema kama hata kama hakuna pesa, hatutasema tena ti hii covid imekuja imetukazia sana. Ni lazima hii covid itakuja ifike tu mwisho. Tuanze tu maisha yetu kama ya kitambo venye ilikuwa ya kupata pesa na kujipanga. Tuwezi ni skope nye tumefika. Tumetoka nayo kutoka last year. Bado tunaendelea. So tuta give up. Tukona mwana inaisha na maisha yetu inaendelea bada. Aya. Kumalizia. Mi ningesema tu hadithi fupi. Hii wakati wa COVID kuna mshana. Aliona mambo imekuwa ngumu kwake pia ilikuwa tu ni hadithi ya Bahostes. Changamoto zimekuwa mingi. Kafi imekuwa, pesa zimekuwa chache. Anakimbizwa na polisi kila wakati. Akaenda kuuliza mama. Mama, nisaidie, nitafanya aje. Akaanza kukomplain. Mama yake akamjibu akamjibu hivi. Nenda ulete sufuria tatu. Akaletewa sufuria. Katika sufuria akabandika kwa hizo meko. Kila 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 sufuria zikuwa sufuria tatu, hizo sufuria akabandika kwa meko. Sufuria ya kwanza akaweka carrot, ya pili akaweka mayai, ya tatu akaweka coffee beans. After 30 minutes akaambiwa msichana akamboa enda tu hizo hizo chakula liweka hapo ndani akakuja kazishika moja kwa moja. Kuangalia carrot imekuwa soft, mayai kawaida kama haijaboiliwa inakuwa water ndani. Yeye yeah, kivunja ilikuwa iko ngumu. Hii nyingine ilikuwa ni kofi. Kofi ikayeyuka ikakuwa maji maji. So the same thing. Sasa hii wakati wa covid najua vitu zimekuwa ngumu sana. Kila kitu iko iko mbaya. Hakuna kitu nzuri tunaweza kwa tunaona na covid ya. Tunaweza sema hivyo lakini sisi ni hizo mayai, carrot na na coffee beans. Tutaekwa kwa hiyo moto lakini venye tuki, lile kitu linatoka the aftermath is what really matters. Itatuyeyusha ama itatuharden ama itatuchange our consistencies. So ni hayo tu kwa leo. Continue watching us kwa Josephine Show.